Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. I hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. And thank you for watching this clip on a shortcut to factor quadratics. When we factor quadratics, we're looking for two numbers. When you multiply, you get the constant. When you add, you get the cross term, so on and so forth. The problem is becomes when you have a coefficient of not one in front of the quadratic term. It gets really cumbersome. So over the years, there's a method I teach my students. It's called a triple play system, where we actually trick the system. We factor something that's a little easier, but related to the problem we're trying to factor. And then from there, we come out of the magic box, and we get the correct answer. So what I did over here is I took the coefficient and multiplied it by this constant, thus relieving the constant made it into 1. Okay, it's not really equivalent in that it's 1, but the system does work. So this is 1 here. And then what I do is tell students, don't bother to multiply the 15 and 5 together, because it's a pretty big number. Okay, so what you actually do is you're trying to break it down instead of multiply it up. Okay, now you see here, 15 times 5 is really equal to 3 times 5 times 5. And here, since I'm looking for minus 22, I see the combination uh, as a positive 3 times minus 25. Okay, now this is still minus 75, and so is this one. And by using this method, I have my two numbers that I'm looking for. So I have y minus, uh, y plus 3 here, and y minus 25. Okay, now this still stays in the box because technically we're not really factoring this, but factoring this cousin, as it's called a cousin, does help us to get the right answer. Coming out of the box, instead of writing y's, because y times y is equal to y squared, where we need a 5y squared, I'm going to replace the y with 5y. Okay, everything else stays the same. Now, a smart viewer would say, wait a minute, 5y times 5y is 25y squared. That's not what we need, which is 5y squared. Well, let's solve that problem by dividing 5. Okay, this method always works. So you grab whatever you, you factor the fake one, and then you replace the y's with whatever you need to um, factor in the first place, and you divide or normal renormalize it once. Okay, now from here, Simplifying by pulling out a coefficient of 5 here. We have y minus 5 here divided by 5. And what do you know? 5 cancels out. And our final answer then is 5y plus 3 times y minus 5. Okay. Let's check that. Before that, let's have a math break. My daughter asked, what the heck is this thing? It's a Walkman. The young, young kids of these days don't even know what that is. They have their iPods. All right, back to math. Let's double check our work. Okay, so under belly, I have 5y squared, another one, and minus 25y. Over the hat, I have a plus 3y. And one more term is minus 15. And we get exactly what we were looking for. Not great. Sometimes math works out. All right. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun. At least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if this has been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.